Welcome to Great Stirrup K, Norwegian's private island. Dreamers, we are on the tender boat on our way over to the private island. And actually, the Norwegian Encore is like right there. Like, I can touch it, it's so close. <laughs> but on this island, you actually have to get on the tender boats, and they actually take you over to Great Surf K, which is nice because you get like a little bonus boat ride for free. It's kind of cool. And uh, so that's what we're doing now. They assigned numbers yesterday. So you actually wait for them to call your number and then you come down to board the tender to head to the island. And on the way back, you literally just, when you're tired and ready to head back to the ship, you go ahead and get back on the tender. There's no assigned times to come home. But we are excited. It's early in the morning, so I think we're getting um, really great weather. And look, it's sunny, beautiful day to do some exploring on the island. They call it. <laughs> Welcome to Great Star K, okay, guys. All right, we are here. What do we do? We're gonna go to the information desk first to keep our fingers crossed that we can get a shore excursion. They were booked up with all their excursions on the ship, but we're keeping our fingers crossed that somebody's gonna be a no-show. I want to swim with some pigs today. What do you guys think? Thank you. Checked in with the shore excursion desk, and they don't have a status for us yet. They told us to come back around 1.30 and hopefully they can get us on the last swim with the pigs, which is on my bucket list, guys. I've never done it and I'm dying to do it. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that they can get us in. So we grabbed towels. They had towels just like a lot of the other cruise lines. You just pick up a towel. And now we are kind of just exploring the island and uh, just checking everything out. So let's go on a little tour of the Great Stirrup K, which they call the greatest K.
and a nice shady spot. Look at this, this is awesome. And it's like anyone can use it. So you've got like the towels on the chair, you've got the nice lounge chairs, and you got the shade. And especially for this Florida girl, you gotta have the shade. That's so cool. So Francie and I found one on the very end with a beautiful, beautiful view of the water. So I think we're taking a nap since we have no kids. We're gonna take a nap and relax on this island. I'm so excited. I know this is totally silly, but I've always wanted to get a picture on the swings in the water. You know those Instagram worthy pictures where you know it's a beautiful beach and they're on a swing? They have those here. Look at that. They have swings on the water. I am getting that classic Instagram picture. <laughs> I'm so excited. And the good news is it doesn't look like I have to like use a lot of strength to actually get up on the swing. I know sometimes it's really hard to get on the swings, but this one you just kind of hop on. actually have a food truck. Yes, I did say food truck on the island. So of course we have to get something from the food truck. We're gonna get Sirage and then also they have Caribbean rum cake, which is definitely a must get. definitely gonna be lunch number one because we're gonna eat again later <laughs> but look at the cerveche that's oops losing my tortilla it looks amazing I don't know if you guys can see it but it looks so delicious so we're gonna go and have a bite oh my gosh big chunks of pineapple <gasps> and onion all right let's go in again Oh my gosh, that is really, really good. Look at that big chunk. I don't know what kind of seafood that is, but it's very good. All right, and then I got the Caribbean rum cake. And that, of course, is just gonna be, yeah, that's gonna be delicious. You gotta come, when you come to the Bahamas, you have to get rum cake. We are stuffed from the food truck treats, but the bar and grill behind us, can smell the grilling. So we're gonna go check it out and see what kind of food they have at the grill. And again, all the food is included with the cost of your cruise. to get a little warm here in the Bahamas. I think we're gonna grab some snorkeling gear and head out to the snorkeling trail, which is right over my shoulder. And I hear it is an amazing, amazing snorkeling area. You actually swim right up to those rocks over my shoulder. So I'm hoping maybe we'll see some turtles and a lot of tropical fish.
an amazing day here at the Great Stirrup K. Now, I know you guys are gonna ask, what did we think of the island? We actually had an amazing time. It was Francie and myself, so adults, we just relaxed at the beach, we went swimming, snorkeling. It was perfect for us. Now, for families, Keep this in mind, it's more of a beach type island. There's not as many activities as some of the other cruise islands that we've been to. So definitely keep that in mind. You can still snorkel, you can do a shore excursion, you can just enjoy the water. It's more of a beach atmosphere, which was perfect for us two adults here enjoying the private island. So guys, leave a comment. What did you guys think of this island? And a little trivia, did you know that Norwegian was the first cruise line to actually have their own private island? Pretty amazing, now all the cruise lines do it, but Norwegian was the first. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe to join the rest of our adventures. Keep on dreaming and we'll see you next time. Bye, love you all.